Today at JJ's Appliques, we're making in the hoop bunny ears that it will slide onto a headband. So go ahead, get your cutaway stabilizer put into your hoop and we can get started. With your hoop now on the machine, using any color of thread you'd like, go ahead and stitch out step one on the stitch map. This is going to outline the bunny ear where you're going to place your vinyl or felt. Remove the hoop from your machine and you'll see the outline of the bunny ear. And you're going to cut a piece of felt or vinyl that will cover it and give a little extra so you have some room once it's stitched on there to cut the final product out. So go ahead and I use sticky spray. Seems to you work best for holding this in place. So you don't want the vinyl to shift while you're stitching. So once you've done that, put it back on the machine. Okay, once your hoop is back on your machine, go ahead and change or make sure that your thread is the color you want for the inner ear applique and st then stitch out step two of the stitch map. I'm using white. the hoop off the machine. Now we're going to place a piece of um, vinyl or felt for the applique and there's a couple ways to do it. First you could go ahead and insert scissors and cut around the inside of this or we can just leave it and if so since I'm using white glitter vinyl or white vinyl you can almost see through it I like to put a piece of cutaway stabilizer and then the vinyl on top of it and I usually just use tape to tape it down and oops, let me get that straight I tape it down and go back to the machine okay the hoop is back on the machine the white thread is in the machine as well and we're just going to stitch out step three this is going to triple stitch around and tack the applique So we're taking that hoop off the machine, removing the tape, and then cutting out the applique. Once you have the applique piece trimmed away, turn your hoop over so you're looking at the other side of it, and cut either a piece of felt or vinyl uh, big enough to cover the entire outline you see and secure it with tape. I don't use sticky spray because you're going to want to slide the headband through it. So I use painter's tape. I'm just going to do that on there. And here. And then go back to the machine. Put your hoop back on the machine with the vinyl or felt taped to the back of it, making sure that you have the thread color in that you want to use for the outline of the complete bunny ear. I'm ready, I'm using pink, so I'm gonna go ahead and stitch out step four. Final step. After stitching the outline, it's gonna stitch um, another little seam that's going to form a casing for you to slide the headband through. Once off your machine, turn it over, remove all the tape, remove it from the hoop. I like to cut out around the edges to get rid of the big stuff before I trim it to size. to 
just start here. And you just follow the line that you can, imaginary line up the side here to the ear. Stitching there and just however close or not that you like it to the triple stitch. And when you get here, you can see the angle it should be by the last stitch. And there you go. Now, if this is a little stuck together there, I just go ahead and use my tweezers and open it up. I'm going to use a violet color, lavender color headband. Put it on. There you are. And I stitched this out on my little brother SE 400. It turned out really good. I think any machine that you have will look just as will stitch one just as well. Good luck and thank you for joining me. I'm off to stitch the other ear.